Well, hey guys. Here are the steps I uh, go through to do, uh, upgrade the firmware on my solid state drive. Uh, this is what they call a destructive firmware upgrade, which means it erases the drive when you do it. Uh, some of the newer drives or, or some of the different drives, different models and stuff have uh, non-destructive that you can do right from within Windows. But here is how you do a destructive firmware upgrade. Uh, I always do mine as soon as they come out within a couple of days of the release. I always have. I've had this drive for uh, over a year now, about a year and two months. And uh, uh, this is like the fifth, I think it's the fifth uh, firmware upgrade I've done on it. So I like to keep up on uh, the technology. What can I say? Here's the steps. Well, I just got on the Patriot site, uh, looking around a little bit, and I realized that a couple days ago, some new firmware was released for my uh, drive. It's the Torx 128 gigabyte. So currently I'm using 1916, and it looks like 2030 is out. So I'm going to go through the steps and kind of show you in case you uh, want to update your Patriot drive. All of them are a little bit different, but this is uh, the process you need to go through to update firmware on a Patriot Torx. So my first step um, is I'm going to, I'm copying right now all my pictures and all my videos to my backup drive which is this drive here. So now that I have my external drive hooked up, my next step is going to be to create a system image. Okay, so my backup completed successfully. So that's an image of my C and D drives where I keep all, a lot of my programs. So let's get to uh, tearing my computer apart here and get that solid state drive out and my S drive unhooked. All right, one thing real quick when you're going to do this, you really need to make sure if you're going to update your, uh, your drive, your solid state drive, that your main, your controller that you're going to update it with is in IDE mode. So there's mine in IDE mode. All right, the, so I was going to take my computer in the other room and everything, but it's not really needed. I'm just going to turn off my power supply button there and unhook the power and data cables and just take out my solid state drive. That's all I really need to do. So for a Patriot drive at least, there are a couple things you need to get from the back of the drive. Because all the all the files are a little bit different. There are some numbers on the back of the drive here. One being 128, I know that. And then on Patriot drives you need to get the lot number, which for my case is a 6. So I need to get those numbers you have a Patriot drive, you need to get them also. So the next step you do, uh, Patriot has a little uh, jumper that you have to plug into the back of the drive. And then you'll need some power and a data cable. I just happen to have both right here because I've got this, uh, this external, uh, this thing on this Antec case where you can plug a hard drive in. So I'm just going to go ahead and use those power and data connectors. So to prepare your Patriot drive, you need to power your computer off, put the jumper on, plug in the power and data and power your computer back on. And so we'll see what happens here. Okay, so now I have my solid state drive hooked up to a different computer. I've downloaded and extracted the firmware 2030 upgrade AP and all that is left to do is see if it works. The best thing to do is right click 
and hit Run as Administrator on Upgrade AP. Now it has detected it and what you need to do is choose your serial number. That's why it's so important to find those numbers on the back. Mine is a 128 gigabyte and it's a 6 series. So I'll check that and it's as simple as hitting the upgrade firmware button. And as you can kind of see there, it is upgrading the firmware. Erasing NAND flash for rework. Now if this was on AHCI, I've tried it before, uh, it would take about 30 years to finish. But since it's on IDE, it should just take about a minute or less. So it's going through every single cell on this on the NAND flash on the drive and uh, reworking it, I guess. And then it will uh, and then it will upgrade the actual firmware. Okay, so when you get this message, change the jumper setting to factory mode, normal mode you are done. That means you've upgraded the firmware. So we'll get uh, get going, get Windows back on this machine. On this uh, drive, I mean, in my main machine. All you do is hit OK and power down your computer, remove the jumper, and reinstall it back into your computer like a normal drive. Okay, so I get my old trusty Windows 7 repair disk out that you can make yourself. Power the system on, hurry and open up your DVD drive, close it back up so it boots to it, and let's see what happens here. Is it going to boot to it? No. Yes, it is. Okay. So a lot of you probably know how to <clears throat> how to uh, go ahead and put Windows on back on your machine, but I thought I would go through it anyway. I've got my external drive plugged in, and uh, as soon as this loads up, I'll go through it. Okay, so here's what a repair disk will do. Oh. I almost missed it. It had the little Vista, a Vista-like uh, thing here. Um, okay, so I have mouse control. And I want to restore my computer using a system image I created earlier. Next. So it's searching for images. Hope you can see that. So it's found it, today's image on my external. So I'll use that, go next. And on this one, I want to exclude disks, but I can't because it's it. I want to exclude partitions, not disks. So I will just go ahead and push next, and it's going to restore my C and D drives. All disks will be formatted and replaced with the layout and the system image. Yes, I want to continue. So I'll let that run and uh, show you that it, uh, if it works or not. Alright, so just to show you that I actually did upgrade to 2030. Here's HD Tune for my Patriot Torx info. And as you can see there, 2030 is the firmware version. So that's how you do a firmware upgrade on a Patriot Torx. All of them differ a little bit. This is a destructive firmware. Some of them will let you do it with the operating system installed. This is not one of them. I wish it was, but it's not too bad. You guys have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.